Good morning. This is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim, Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. I had just uploaded a new video, short video, talking about there's a lot of shaking going on in the world, with the earth, and on social media, showing that I'm being threatened by this person that's wanting to pretend to be me. And I have an idea who it is. Because I've been threatened by that person before, many times, received many phone calls, had to change my phone number. I cannot even perform as a pastoral counselor because I can't put my information out there because of you evil people. You are keeping me from what I am trained and certified to do. And yes, my certification is real. My training is real. My education is real. I went to Belmont Technical College in uh, St. Clairsville for two and a half years and received a degree. Before that, I received a diploma in psychology and social work from uh, Stratford Career Institute and I passed with an A, but of course they don't use A's. <clears throat> but anyhow, long story short, I want to dwell too much on my legal and binding education. I want to mention that someone is. I just posted this video like 40, probably about 50 seconds ago, almost a minute ago actually. <clears throat> and already I have one viewer. So if this isn't a viewer that works for Google, or somebody that has their YouTube open to uh, my. Uh, channel all the time somebody I mean I know you people troll me but wow as soon as I upload a video you're right there looking at it if that's not called stalking I don't know what it is God's Word says in Matthew, Matthew 10, 1. And when he had called his twelve disciples to him, he gave them power over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all kinds of sickness and all kinds of diseases. Now the same thing is written in uh, Luke 9. But it's word just a little bit different. Luke. Let me get my camera here. It's situated Luke. 9. He called his 12 disciples <clears throat> together. Gave them power and authority over all demons instead of unclean spirits like it says in Matthew here it says demons and to cure diseases and he sent them out to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick <clears throat> now, a lot of people say we're not supposed to, you know, have anything to do with uh, unclean spirits or demons, but yet we have authority. Jesus had authority. We have authority. Jesus gave us the authority over demons. 
And he also told uh, his disciples to preach the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God, which means Jesus is going to be returning and we need to be ready. We need to be prepared for Jesus' return. We need not just our souls, our spirits ready, but we need to have we need to be prepared because we will be going through tribulation. The scripture also says that in um Oh, excuse me, hang on. Let me um, move my arm here out of the way while I'm flipping my Bible. Yeah, i got to fix that. And see, one reason why a lot of things are not being preached in every single church the way it's supposed to be preached from God's Word is because of the fact nobody is in unity anymore, hardly. Well, anyhow, um, I know how I can actually find it real quick. I, uh, just need to go in here to my computer and look up the scripture because I have it saved. On my computer here. I'm just looking here on my computer real quick for the scripture I'm looking for so I can show you in God's Word. Oh yeah, I thought it was there but couldn't remember what what uh, First Thessalonians. Let me go back here. The problem is too was my Bible. It just uh it's all you know it's all, you know, falling apart <laughs> when it comes to the New Testament. And uh first Thessalonians see there's first Thessalonians First Thessalonians Three, it says that no one should be shaken by these afflictions for yourselves know that we are appointed to this for in fact we told you before we were with you that we would suffer tribulation just as it happened and you know
were appointed to tribulation. And then there's people who will say, Yeah, but we're not appointed to wrath. Well, excuse me. When did the word tribulation and the word wrath become the same meaning? Answer that question. When did... Um, The word um, wrath and tribulation mean the same thing. They do not mean the same thing. Tribulation is pressure, where per, where where you will be put under pressure, a lot of pressure. I'm being put under a lot of pressure on social media. And because people thinking I'm doing things and saying things I'm not saying. So I'm under a lot of pressure through my social media accounts. And being bombarded by an email I do not want. Uh, sometimes even things through the U.S. mail that I do not want. So I'm constantly put under a lot of pressure. But as far as the wrath of God is concerned, the wrath of God means, in, in the Greek is O-R-G-E. Org. Or great anger. That's found in... Uh, where was I? Uh, First Thessalonians, chapter five, uh, uh, in verse nine. And uh, of course, I got wrote here on this in my notes, and it says here in verse nine, for God did not appoint us to wrath but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Wrath and tribulation means two different things. But, well, there's a lot of people in the church, even the church that I attend, that always want to throw up, well, we're not appointed to wrath, we're not appointed to wrath, we're not appointed to wrath. But we are appointed to tribulation. We are appointed to tribulation, and they are two different events, two different meanings, two, two, different, different, different. Not the same, different. Different events, different meanings. Jesus said, we, in Matthew 24, Get my Bible flipped here so I won't <laughs> fall apart here on me while I'm flipping. Jesus said in Matthew 24. Scripture here. See, here's the thing. In my Bible, it says, uh, in Matthew 24, right up here, it says, Great Tribulation. It doesn't say Great Wrath. It says Great Tribulation. And then it says down here in um, uh, 
as you can see here in uh, 20 and I pray you your your flight may not be in winter nor in the Sabbath and then we're 21 for then there will be great tribulation great tribulation doesn't say great wrath it says great tribulation tribulation means something different than wrath and then here's what gives me two down here Jesus said immediately after the tribulation of those days is when he will return in the sky to take us up with him not before the tribulation not not before a lot of preachers and other Christians want to put the horse before the cart you can't have the horse before the cart unless you put the motor in the back of the vehicle like uh, the Volkswagens used to be and then there was another car as well that had the motor in the back Long story short, people, a lot of people in the church has it wrong. They believe in a lie. They've been believing in a lie for so long. They don't even want to believe in the truth. I'm preaching the kingdom of God. Yet, yeah, Jesus, Jesus came. Jesus came to earth to save, our, our, to save us from our sins. He died on the cross to save us from our sins and to make a way for us to go before God and he rose again on the third day so that we can have the glory of being resurrected as well now we are to preach the kingdom of God so that is the gospel of Jesus Christ now we are supposed to preach the kingdom of God Jesus Christ wanted uh, his disciples to also preach the kingdom of God not just that he came to earth to you know be our Savior but the kingdom of God to prepare us for his return in the sky So that we can come back with him in the second coming. But yeah, I'm, let me refresh this and see what uh, happens here. Five viewers now. There's up to five viewers. Up to five viewers. About 27 minutes ago. So either you are friends that likes to see what I have to say, or you're stalkers, or internet trolls that's stalking me. But to have one right off the bat, that means somebody there at YouTube, Google, is following me. And probably is one of these uh, internet trolls that hate me. Like you said in some of your comments, that they hate that um, they hate me. It's probably because you're working for Google, and you hate me, which means it's an all-out inside job. It's not a conspiracy, like someone else is saying. It's an inside job. There's no other way that it cannot be an inside job. 
Well, I'm not sure what's going on here. Bye, Bear. Get off here. God bless you. Have a blessed day.